thank you everybody for coming in. It looks like we got quite a few viewers. We must have gotten hosted, uh, so I'm going to guess it was Kronovi and whoever else uh, who's also hosting. Thank you very much. Uh, just stick around, guys. we got a great matchup here coming up. Swarm Gaming versus Flipside Tactics. Two EU powerhouses going head-to-head -head in the winner's bracket final to determine who is going to be moving on to the grand final. So just stay tuned, guys. We're getting the players corralled up real quick, and then we're going to get everybody into a lobby, and we'll be ready to start. So uh, we've got that coming up very soon. So just stick around for just a few moments longer. Thank you. All right, so it looks like we're going to try to be joining up in the lobby here. Uh, shout this, we've got Flipside versus uh, Swarm, and it looks like the players are already uh, getting ready to go here. So we're going to uh, jump right into the action here. This is the winner's bracket final, uh, Flipside Gaming versus Swarm. Yep, a match I have seen and shout cast more times than I could possibly count. Uh, <laughs> obviously slightly different with the addition of ELMP, uh, and wow, alright, Stocky, just sort of coming out of nowhere in the early goings here, nice play off the wall there by DeBoer, grabs it off the back wall, puts it away, so good opening here for Swarm Gaming in this winter bracket final. Yeah, Swarm's making a statement early on, Stocky with a quick goal in the first 15 seconds of the match. And uh, flip side, uh, just getting into it right now. <laughs> I mean, both these teams were probably just waking up, uh, trying to get into the groove. They've been uh, had a, a few uh, minutes where they just haven't been playing Rocket League, trying to stay warm. And a long shot oh. by Marky Duda. Marky Duda with a big long distance shot, nicely put into the oh. net. Who needs replays? We know what happened. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, so great we'll, equalizer. We'll ask that the admins. Re prevent them from skipping the replays but uh it was a great shot by marky and now we're just back at even both these teams uh just trying to uh establish some dominance but uh one one so far yeah and this is really common you know these early games especially with flip side can be very hard to call um they're notorious absolutely notorious for dropping the first game and then coming back to just turn on the heat and dominate uh, but against Swarm, it's a little different because Swarm is one of those few teams that can really challenge Flipside. And I know that this version of Flipside is slightly different than what we're used to, uh, and that does mean a lot. You know, without Mike Rules there, it's a big change of pace. Um, as so long as uh, ELMP doesn't uh, get up to go get the door to get his takeout i think <laughs> <laughs> i think flip side and fans will be very happy about that <laughs> hopefully so yeah that'd be a good good adjustment there yeah elmp um he he's a very solid player and despite the fact that they can't just get anything going on that one nearly trying to get a second goal on the board yeah um, but yeah elmp great player on supersonic avengers uh subbing in here uh, also, you know, excellent player, fun to watch. So, I'll be interested to see how how really this all plays out. And there, Stocky again. Stocky with his second goal of the match here. Just uh, an easy roller, really a layup. Cooks here uh, puts that right off the wall. Nobody from his team is able to clear that out. And Stocky just punches that in for an easy second goal. And uh, Swarm up 2-1. And, uh, you know, ELMP... He is a, a good player, but really, you can't replace Mike. He is, he is one of those irreplaceable players. He is, and, and it's a very hard dynamic for Flipside to take because they have been for the longest time with that 
combination of players the number one team in the world like period you know they've proven it they, they won the, the first rocket royale uh invitational tournament that, that took place before week one a couple weeks back um they've won mlg you know they've been consistently showing that they're so dominant and that has to do a lot with the fact that all three of these players are consistent like one of my favorite things to do is and big thanks goes out to cloud fuel he was an amazing stat guy <laughs> and, and i love him for this i looked at the stats for flipside tactics down goes marky duda but i looked at the stats for flipside tactics throughout mlg and all three of the players wow stocky with just the long shot there i know I mean, we're trying to listen to a conversation about stats and stocky's just trying to and you know score long and low just a bowling shot going for distance and gets a big extension of this lead but what i was trying to say really just had to do with flip side i looked at the stats and all three players were practically identical in terms of shots goals saves and that's dangerous like that is scary because with some teams Give me a chance, guys. <laughs> Beautiful play, though. I mean, look at this. DeBoer comes up, gets a nice bit of setup here. Great pass Austin into the mid. No Perfect. one in there. Yeah, and 4-1 with only a minute left. So Swarm looking to be the favorite to take this game. But uh, like you were saying, with, with Flipside, if all of their players are, you know, can swap in and out and really play any position in any role, you know, mm -hmm. they are deadly. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because, you know, you look at other teams, like even Cosmic Aftershock, you know Kronovi's the striker. You know Gibbs is the big defensive guy. You know Sad Jr. is the playmaker. But with Flipside, they're all everything. <laughs> and you don't know exactly what's going to happen. Good backup goal there by ELMP. Trying to close this gap with just about a minute to play. And very nice stop there by Marky Duda. Backflip goal nonetheless. Yeah, he was just in a good position to make a play on that. Now, these guys are a little too quick to press that A button or X button, whatever <laughs> controller, enter, spacebar. I don't know what it is on keyboard and mouse, but uh, that was a, it was a very good backwards goal. And uh, Flipside's still in it. If they can get another goal very quickly, they, just need, uh, they would just need to get this game into overtime. Yeah, and, and it's certainly not impossible for them to come back from this, but I don't think it's going to happen. I, I'm, I'm leaning towards this game almost certainly going to uh, swarm gaming here but as i mentioned earlier the game one factor for flip side is always up in the air yep and that all but uh seals the deal for swarm <laughs> gaming here in <laughs> number one as uh DeBoer just goes in and and has a layup here cooks here has to just watch that go in and five to two swarm gaming undoubtedly going to to take uh the first game in this as you kind of called it <laughs> with Flipside being notorious for uh, dropping their first game. Yep, so doesn't necessarily mean anything too big. I, I always know that when I'm watching Flipside play, wait till game two, then you'll get a better picture of what's going on. Um, but I will say, you know, I am very impressed by the performance of Swarm so far because this isn't just a win. This is a very dominant win. And, uh, you know, this is the kind of win I think Swarm needed. They had a rough tournament last week. They didn't really get the showing that I think they wanted to. Um, but now they're a little bit more on point, and they're looking really good at it. So good for Swarm. A little bit back in their uh, in their groove here. So Yeah, and now uh, taking that first game, Flipside, though, has to respond here because going down uh, two games early on, uh, they don't get to switch to any North American servers to uh, save the day, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> Yeah. They are stuck on EU for the rest of the match. Uh, you, you know, I guess uh, in that sense, Swarm would also benefit. Seems like EU players on NA do quite well. But, uh, yeah, Swarm really stomping them in this first game. But Flipside maybe just needing to get into the groove a little bit. Yeah. You know, that sometimes that's just what they need to do, figure things out. Uh, Marky and Kooks do make a really good squad. You know, it's just hard. Mike Rules was a very critical component. A flip side but there an excellent opening goal by elmp who just you know he sets his own shot up plays it to the corner responds to that play off the wall there and just picks up that goal very nicely so really good stuff i mean that's a good way to open things up and give flip side the opportunity they need to you know show off a bit more 
And Cooks here putting a good ball into the mid. It bounces off straight down off the arced part of the ceiling. So uh, good opportunity for them. Pashi winning that 50-50 ball there. Uh, ELMP trying to get the clear. Um, and good teamwork there by Flipside. Uh, getting the clear and the shot on net. But uh, Swarm here on the counterattack. Yeah, and, and Swarm... You know, the funny thing, from what I've seen in the last couple games so far, not a lot out of Pashi yet. And that just could be because, you know, hey, maybe Stocky and DeVor were, you know, getting into place and, and doing their thing. But usually Pashi is a little more prolific in these games with Swarm. Uh, he tends to be their big striker. Um, him and, uh, and uh, DeVor for sure. So, a little unexpected to not be saying Pashi's name quite so much. Yeah. Um, but uh, one one player that seemed to be a little bit quiet so far is Cooks here. So um, it'll be, yeah. we, we want to, you know, Cooks here is one of those super, super flashy players. And we'll go on board with uh, Cooks here right now to see if he's able to uh, help his team out and score one of those nasty wall shots that he's so <laughs> no, well known for, uh, as well as the aerials. Now it's looking like he's trying to use his skills for defense, but Pashy oh. comes in and just blows him up. Eating alive and DeBoer. Had a pretty nice opening there, but Kuxir was able to come back in time to make the big stop. Uh, but yeah, you're right. Kuxir really hasn't shown off too much either yet, but he and Pashi have very similar roles on their team in terms of being kind of a very flashy striking role. Uh, you know, I did talk about how Flipside is fairly even across the board, and there, Pashi does finally get on the board. Puts in a little bit of a slow roller that Marky nearly had a chance to stop. You can see the play here just good... I mean, here's one thing good about both these teams. They both play a very similar style of offense, and that's very three-in aggressive style. Um, Flipside has had to change that up a little bit because that was the style they played with Mike. And if you change that formula up, it's hard to, it's hard to do that well. I'll just put mm -hmm. it that way. Absolutely. Th three-in aggression is very difficult to do well because you can't just be all attacking the ball. You have to be covering the entire side of the pitch so that you're stopping clears, too. Because somebody gets a clear past you, and, well, you're screwed. And yeah, speaking of screwed... here comes in <laughs> and finishes that off. So uh, we'll see how this play developed here along the corner. Stocky trying to get a clear, but ends up just passing it right into the mid, where Cooks here finishes it off. Yeah, that, uh, just as we were saying, both Pashi and Cooks here really weren't doing too much lately. They both come in and score some very important goals here. So, you know, I think I think it was that caster motivation. And oh, speaking of which, Pashi, that was oh, a no. great point shot. I mean, look at this. He comes, the setup comes from De Boer playing it off the wall. He drills yep. the shot in, and Marky tries to get it out of the way, but couldn't quite get the right angle in time. So yeah, Mar Marky doing everything he could to block that shot. And you could see him there trying to jump it and push it above the crossbar, but wasn't able to do so. Uh, and the ball going in to their net. Tying up a Cooks here. <laughs> getting a dangerous shot there. Yeah, big stop by DeBoer. Finally just sort of keeping these things a little bit balanced. But this game is a little more like what I expect out of these two. Dead even. Same kind of performance out of both squads. No team is really looking dominant, so to say. But it's just a matter of getting the right chance at the right time. And speaking of which, good turnaround by ELMP. Pashi had a nice shot there. Stocky uh, almost whiffing that clear attempt there. And pops it straight up. And uh, flip side trying to take advantage of that. Ball still not out of, uh, out of the zone after that mistake there. So uh, Stocky trying to get some boost so he can help his team get this cleared. But flip side is just keeping the pressure on. Not letting up. Yeah, they really are. I, I mean, they're and a so wide open <laughs> shot from ELMP just, you know, sticking with it. And uh, eventually you'll get a goal as you see LMP does that right here. Picks up the rest of that boost and then just an open net and punches it in. I love Lamp. <laughs> For anybody who doesn't get that joke, they didn't watch Gfinity on Friday. But that's okay. <laughs> Apparently Shogun was referring to... Oh, well, hold on. <laughs> yeah, let Marky right score real now. quick. <laughs> Let's let Marky Duda extend this lead. And now, I think the switch may have been flipped. Oh, he just let it go. That was such a great fake there by ELMP. You could see uh, that Swarm thought he was going to hit that ball. And when he just let it roll by, Marky swung.